Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. What you got there? Big old bone. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from Ranger Rob Country Living. Hope you're having a great day today. Before we get started, can you please like the video, share our videos, and become a subscriber. We'd love to have you. Don't forget we have a website, rangerrob.com. Feel free to uh, sign up for the uh, newsletter there. It only sends you a, uh, an email when there's a new video installed so you can be notified, uh, no spamming. So uh, as you saw, I just showed you a picture of Bell down here, which both of them have got bones today. And uh, Bell just turned nine months old. And we were a little bit surprised. Bell is obviously a little girl. Well, apparently German Shepherds can go into heat <laughs> around that site time. And so, guess what? Bell went into heat. Well, luckily, Cinder's a, uh, an older lady. And uh, I noticed she was kind of sniffing <laughs> Bell a little more. And uh, then we found some spots on the kitchen floor. So it's like, oh no. So Sherry went to the store real quick to uh, see if we could get something to help protect her a little bit from the house. Uh, we are going to get her spaded. We don't want puppies. Uh, so, but we want to wait till after her cycle and before her next cycle. We try and go, to, I wanted to go up to a year before we had her spaded, uh, which is recommended by the German Shepherd man. And I agree with him. Anyway, so, uh. What can you do? I couldn't believe that she cycled so early, so so be it. Anyway, let's go on to the news about the DeWalt drop-down miter saw. So this is our new DeWalt drop-down miter saw. It's a nice one. I'm really happy to get it. But some lessons learned. Her old miter saw was just a kind of a cheap guy and uh, wasn't as long as this. And uh, so we enlarged the table for it to sit on and fit on there great nice and sturdy got it all squared but the problem is when you turn the miter saw uh, straight uh, and move slide this motor back and everything this particular stand gets a little bit tipsy and uh, we didn't like that so guess what we ordered the uh, DeWalt stand uh, mobile stand with wheels which really makes more sense so when we're ready to use this we'll just roll it out the door here and uh, we'll do our work outside which will actually be cleaner and the sawdust would stay outside so sorry about the sun there so uh, we're really happy to have the dwell by the way the packaging was so easy you just have to put the handles on and you're done uh, unlike everything else I've had to put together so I ordered uh, the uh, mobile stand, which I'll have in about a week, uh, which is fine. I don't really have any big projects right now, but lessons learned on that one. Well, moving on, I just want to mention it's a beautiful day here in uh, October of uh, 2020 in Central Oregon here. Uh, tomorrow, or Tuesday, tomorrow, uh, we're actually going to have bids come in on putting new siding on this house. So uh, if you really look carefully, you can see that we have water damage from, uh, because there were so many plants here in the sprinkler systems and hitting the sides of the house over time, it's made it soft the first six inches or so. So it'll be interesting. I'll tell you more of what they tell us, but it's got to be done. And uh, we knew when we bought this place, that it was going, we we're going to have to have it done. So. Uh, I'm sure I'll be a little more knowledgeable of what my options are and uh, but I'd like to have this done before we even have a little damage here before uh, winter is fully here but we have a little damage in here all from water and that's what you get when you bring your sprinklers really close to your plants and it reflects off the plants and eventually as the plants get bigger it uh, gets on your house and uh, look how beautiful day it is. I mean, it is gorgeous. Uh, the mountains still don't have very much snow on it, and that's kind of scary. Luckily, we're getting into winter, and let's hope that those 
mountains get some snow on them this year. And uh, from what I hear, it probably will. So anyway, uh, <coughs> sighting on a house. I'll tell you more in a couple of days. And uh, that's kind of the latest news of the biggest projects going on. And uh, oh, and uh, next month I ordered a guy to come in to blow out our water systems. We're still watering. We'll probably still water for a little bit longer. And then eventually we have to shut down the systems, blow out um, all the uh, <laughs> miles, <laughs> miles of watering system we have here. I've never done it uh, for this house. So the guy who's coming in has been doing it for them for years. So hopefully I can learn how to do it and I have to pay someone. And uh, I'm not going to talk about my plants over here anymore. Because my zucchini and stuff, this did not, this was not a good place for it. You can also see that the uh, aspens are starting to change color. Uh, and getting leaves everywhere. And so, uh, but still, it's a gorgeous day here, guys. Look at that. Beautiful skies. Let me get kind of this way a little bit. Days like this, you just want to soak it in, <laughs> not do any work. Um, so uh, I also showed in the video before this, uh, sure he got a new uh, aquarium and got some uh, no, new aquarium, some new fish. Uh, one of her fish is being kind of aggressive. It's an older one, so she's gonna run, she's running over to the pet store not only for for Belle's problem, but to get a separator for one of her fish because it's being a little bit uh, aggressive. And, um, and one of the other fish are stressed out about it and it's showing uh, discoloration. And one of the reasons it does that is because of stress. And we think that's the culprit. So there you go. If you have fish, you'll learn something. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this video short. Uh, I want to thank you very much. Puppies are, once again, walking around, following me with their bones. They're very happy. They love their bones, and plus we wanted to keep Belle outside for a while because of her problem. And uh, I have actually never had a dog in heat before. So this is kind of new to me and show you how to deal with it and protect the house at the same time. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll show you in future videos how we deal with it. But... Uh, uh, I know I want to get her fixed, but I don't want to do it too early. Um, and I don't want puppies. So guys, thank you for watching our program. Make sure you like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, share this to your closest city's mayor. Don't love this video. I'm sure of it. Don't you think? Anyway guys, be safe. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.